when you're talking about leadership, uh, things come up as uh, preparing the way, guidance, the guy in charge, or if you're a dad, <laughs> you're the guy that gets to tell everyone what to do. But you know, Jack Welch, who is the CEO who built GE to what it is today, he uses the four E's of leadership. And his four E's are energy. A leader has to have energy. A leader has to be someone that energizes others. A leader has to be someone who has an edge to them, you know, how to persevere, has a backbone, grittiness. And then the final E, the fourth one would be to execute. A leader has to know how to execute, get the deal done, make the sell, close the deal, rally troops together to end up with a positive result. Well, I just want you to know, in the press box, talking to the general manager of the New Orleans Saints, Mickey Loomis. Mickey Loomis was head of player personnel, I believe, when I was playing with the New Orleans Saints. Now he's the general manager. I said, Mickey, talk to me a little bit about the impact Drew Brees not only had on the offense, but he had on the entire team in New Orleans. Mickey Loomis' next words to me were, Steve, not only did Drew Brees have an impact on the offense and on our entire team, it was more important than that and bigger than that. He had an impact on our entire city. And then, as you know, the rest is history. Two years ago, they go on and win a Super Bowl. Why do I bring this up? Why do I bring Jack Welch and his four E's into it? Because I truly believe in a lot of people that's responsible for building